All limestone are, are created by three major factors, time, heat, and pressure. So the youngest is actually local. Florida Keystone is only 10,000 years old, maybe 100,000 years old. So it's like brand new uh, in the geological world. It clearly shows a lot of brain coral, fan coral, you can see it so clearly. And it's still the whitest one. It's really popular architecturally because it has a very, very consistent white tone to it. So that would be the youngest. It's also the most porous. It's also the least dense. So this has limitations for application. You would want to put this on the outside of a building, cladding, architectural elements, fireplaces, columns, but not so good on floors because you wouldn't be able to maintain it. It's going to be too porous. The next after that, you go into a St. Croix. This particular one is from um, just outside of Toulouse the south of France. A beautiful, warm tone. It has a really nice bone tone and you can see the fossils and the shells. Um, a great material for cladding a house, floors, fireplaces, architectural elements. It's just a nice color palette that's very popular. Quite a few countries have white limestone. Now the density and porosity varies from country to country and the whiter it is, typically the softer it is, the more fossil and shell, or rice grain we call it, the better the density is gonna be. What's interesting when you brush it, which is given it a worn patina finish, the fossils and the shells are more pronounced, which is really cool for cladding, or you could even do floors that way. It also creates a slip resistant finish. It can be honed, which is a flat matte finish. And we can do a, a number of different texture finishes on, on limestone. So that's the medium. You go to the Jurassic. This particular one, Jerusalem Grey Gold, is Jurassic. So it's about 250 million years old. And you go to the French, St. Croix, or the French Dolomites, 300 to 450 million years old. So this is going to be heavier. It's denser. If it's heavier and denser, it's gonna absorb less water. It's gonna be more suitable for, you know, floors, bathrooms, showers. You know, the essence of the limestone business is knowing the correct applications for limestones. What's suitable for a pool deck? What's suitable for a bathroom? What's suitable for cladding? That's where I come in.